For this year's mechatronics project, we decided to build an automated sorting machine. The team consisted of myself, Raymond O'Reilly, Michael Mitchell and Anthony Walsh. Our objective was to take a bulk product and to sort it using a coding system. I'm going to hand you over to Michael now and he's going to talk about the mechanical build. I'm Michael Mitchell and this is the mechanical build. This here is our hopper or feeder. We use this as our magazine. So boxes will be fed down through here and are pushed out by this first actuator. As they come along the belt, they will be sent to the chutes using these distribution actuators. We have three safety features. This here is the first one, it's a power specs uh, cover over our feeding mechanism. This here is the second one, it's an indicator light. When the start button is pressed, it will give you five seconds before the first box is pushed out. And this here is our third safety feature. It's an emergency stop button on the other side of the sorting, sorting system in case of an emergency. So now I'm going to hand you over to Anthony Walsh and he will go through the wiring to the PLC. Hello, I'm Anthony. I'm going to go through the control system for the PLC and the project. Um, here's the PLC, that's the like a computer that controls the project. Um, they're the wires, that's the inputs and outputs, and that's our analog control. They're the terminal blocks. This is the positive 24, that's the negative 24 volts. This is the terminal block. All the wires go in here and they're connected by this lead, which are wired in under the table. Um, for, the con for the process, we have four metal proximity systems built into this pusher, and when the pusher comes into contact with the box, it gets a code from number of proximity switches it touches. So if it gets one, two, three, it'll get a code one, two, three into the PLC. That'll push it out onto the belt. And once it goes down the belt, if it's destined for the middle box, once it goes past this proximity switch, this actuator will push out and push it into this chute. Once this actuator is out fully, um, it'll activate this read switch which will activate the code to push out another box and continue the process again and again and again until there's no boxes left in the hopper. So to control the, the system we have our control panel here which consists of emergency stop, on off switch for power, uh, start button to start the process, stop, stop. We have uh, two speed controls to control the belt. We can control it at 50% and 100% and our re reset button which resets the code. So I'm going to start up the system now. So our light comes on to tell us that the system is going to operate. These proximity sensors were going to be used for expansion of the project. We were going to use them as counters to let the PLC know how many boxes have been entered into our chutes. This here is how the boxes are separated. Each, each box has a different code, different strips of metal on it, which are read by the inductive proximity sensors that are in the field. The objectives of our project was to build an automated sorting machine, a sort of bulk product using its codes. We've met our objectives and we feel we've learned a lot from working on the project in the 